Hey, what's up friends? It's David here. And this is your YouTube channel, Electrica. Now today I have uh, a contactor before me. Uh, I've done a video before for this very contactor. But uh, the video I did was uh, how a direct online starter uh, works. And uh, that video, I'll link it up. Up. If you look up, it will pop up and you can go have a look at it. But today we will look at it in a different way. First of all, we will have to look at it in the such a way that uh, what it comprises in it. First of all, how does it work? Then later we'll see, we'll talk about the different use that uh, we put it into. Uh, all right, this, this contactor, it's, uh, of course, it uses power. You have to connect power. We have uh, contacts here. Uh, we have A1 and uh, A2 for power. You have to connect a live and a neutral for it to operate. Then it has contacts here. Uh, from the it, now this one has got four contacts so you even if you're using it for three phase one two three for fifth phase then it has an auxiliary contact if you don't want to put an auxiliary here you can still use one for especially when you use like when we are connecting it for direct online starters we can use this one as for holding purposes now let's see what's inside it then we explain now you just get your screwdriver you open it then we can uh, remove it this is the coil this is now the coil that uh, energizes we have an iron core here right here and then we have uh, the one which completes let's put it back like that then you have this spring here and then uh, we we'll have to to remove these Then we we'll have to remove this. Okay, then uh, let's remove this. Well, the screw is out. You need to have a, a bit of a long nozzle. Get these ones out. Just like this. <clears throat> a 
Okay. You see, <laughs> it's pretty a lot. We have all these. These are contacts and then the, the screws that you will get out of here. Now, uh, there are some bit of springs here. We can get one here. Then we look at it. Now, if you look at this, yeah, it's a spring, and then we get some good focus here. Yeah, on this now. These are the contacts that uh, when this stuff it energizes, th this can be pulled down to 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 hold this because this one apparently we pulled them down here. And uh, so it's just basically just mechanical. This is uh, like a mechanical uh, switch, but it's being operated by a coil. Uh, so that's why I said before that uh, uh, I'll tell you later um, th the purpose of uh, this contact other than because most of you, you've been seeing it in most of these uh, starters uh, more special we have the doa the direct line starter and then now uh, we have the star delta and uh, the forward and reverse all that there are so many ways that you can use this contactor the application they are endless uh, first of all the advantage of this stuff is that it, it can be automated and secondly it can carry as much current as you want because they are rated to to even uh, um, 600 1000 amps so whatever your needs if you look at um, if you want to control it for lights in the st stadiums uh, where you have floodlights and uh, that floodlights your normal switch like this one cannot handle this switch alone, they're telling us that it's only 10 amps. 10 amps. And uh, perhaps you want to operate in uh, more lights of 1,000 watts connected in Paris uh, to, uh, to get that pitch illuminated. You'll have uh, to engage a contactor like this in your control circuit, but you won't be able to use this if you you are to, to connect the load directly to the switch. It won't be able to hold it. So you'll have to find a contactor that suits your, uh, your, your circuit, whatever current your load might be taking. You'll have to find something like this for you to be able to, to have a normal working circuit. So this is how our contactor looks like. Now, what we do, let's reassemble it, and then we see uh, how it can control the other lights of ours. All right, let me just assemble it uh, quickly and then we see what happens. Yeah. Okay, now uh, let's go ahead. We've already put back our contactor. Um, um, now, uh, we've already given it single phase. That's a black and red. That's what we're using in my country. Uh, probably it might a little bit change in your country, but uh, of course, there won't be same colors. At least there'll be different colors. At least blue, blue, brown, gray, uh, blue, you know, something like that. Okay. Now, like uh, I told you earlier, that uh, this device here, uh, we majorly use it for high current. For example, I even gave you an example of a switch, whereby if you have a higher load, because uh, this switch is rated at uh, uh, 10 amperes. So 
if you really have a very big load that cannot really take that, especially lights, for example, uh, street lights, uh, you might have a stretch of uh, around a, a kilometer, perhaps. Uh, it depends, uh, or less, and uh, you're, you're just having a switch somewhere that someone has to control, or a mall, uh, whereby you have a single switch that uh, you know puts on a couple of lights and, and, and uh, uh, very luminous lights, like uh, maybe lights with many words. So you, you'll be using a switch like this, but in the, behind the scene, you need to have something like this, a contactor which will be carrying all the burden and then the switch only operates the contactor. Okay, now I have a, a bulb here uh, that uh, we want to use in case you, you were to do that. Uh, I will not put a switch now circuit, but uh, it's just a breaker here. Uh, it's just a breaker that is carrying uh, live and uh, neutral. Now we can connect our this light here. Uh, have a black for black. Yep. Connect the black for black. All right, uh, we'll be back. We've already put our, our contact uh, together. And uh, as I showed you earlier, we had uh, our source of power right here. And uh, I told you that uh, this thing, we can use it to control lights, like chunks of lights, like in a stadium, where we need to illuminate a quite white area. And then what we do is we put uh, main lights, floodlights together, and then we'll have them in a pile. Uh, but we can't operate them with this kind of switch. This switch is only 10 amps, which is quite small uh, for that big load. It would definitely burn out. Uh, so to have a smooth burning of your circuits, you will still... You can still use your your switch in the case you're not using any other uh, switching mechanism because there are quite many then we can connect this to the contactor it can control the contactor and then the contractor drive uh, the lights the lights will be connected in a pile we will show that in our next video, uh, which is not yet produced, but we'll do that. So it's basically a quite simple thing. Now, this contactor, it's as obvious. Uh, we did a video, uh, I said it earlier, uh, the link is right up this video. You can uh, take a look at it. This is just uh, still the electron line, but now what we did is that uh, uh, the moment you switch on your brake here, the current will also go uh, energize the contactor and our bulb will be on. Watch it. You see? Uh, just that. Just th th that's the same thing as uh, it will be uh, on the street or in the factory where you really need a uh, many 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 lights you read that but uh, you can use quite different uh, types of circuits that you can you can manipulate around it but this is a direct one now for example if we had these lights many of them we would put them in a pair uh, such that they are independent from each other and so long as uh, the current that they draw it suits with the contactor it's all good to go. It's okay. Uh, and we can still use our switch to control the same circuit. We see that. So, um, 
thank you indeed very much uh, for watching uh, Electrica. Uh, this is uh, has been it. As she said, don't forget to subscribe. You can like, share, and also comment if you want us to make any video. Uh, as far as Electrica is concerned, you can always write it in a comment, and we'll go ahead and do that. Thank you very much. Actually, I'd forgotten that. <laughs>